Hey what's up guys it's Banu here from Android.com if you have a Huawei Nova 5T or any other latest Huawei Android smartphone in this video i'm going to be showing you guys 10 awesome tips for you to make the maximum out of your Huawei device if you guys are excited for this video go ahead and smash that like button hit on that subscribe button and let's get started with today's video The first tip revolves around the fingerprint scanner on the Huawei Nova 5T. So as you guys know the fingerprint scanner on the Nova 5T is on the side and the best part here is you don't have to press the button to unlock your phone. You just need to go ahead and place your finger firmly on top of the fingerprint scanner and the device will securely unlock. To add the fingerprint you need to go into security and from there you need to go to fingerprint ID and then you need to enter your passcode and then you can add different fingerprints. You can add up to 5 fingerprints and if by any chance you don't like how the phone unlocks when you rest the finger on the fingerprint scanner, you can change that action to press the button. So if you do this, now if you just go ahead and place the finger on the fingerprint scanner, nothing will happen. But if you go ahead and press on this button, the phone will unlock. Pretty cool, huh? I personally prefer the first option but the decision is yours. On the Huawei Nova 5T under smart assistance in the settings, you will find something called shortcuts and gestures. So here you have different gestures to control your device. Like you can easily take a screenshot by knocking on the screen twice with the knuckle or if you draw on an enclosed area it will capture part of the screen or if you knock with two fingers it will start a screen recording. You can easily get into split screen mode by sliding a knuckle over the middle of the screen and you can also set the phone wake the screen up immediately when you pick up the device so face unlock can go into activation that way you won't even have to press on the fingerprint to unlock your device. There are also other gestures like muting the ringing tone by flipping the phone or you can enable answer calls so if you do this every time you get a call if you just place it on your ear the phone call will automatically get accepted. There's also an easy way to enable the google assistant so if you hold down the power button the google assistant will come on. Huawei has been bundling in a simple mode for a very long time. It is available under system inside settings and under simple mode. So if you enable the simple mode the layout will be changed. The app icon size will increase and the font size will also increase. And if you head into the settings, the settings will also be simplified and everything will look bigger. This is great because if you want to let an older person use the phone or if you want to let a kid or someone else who wants just simplicity on their smartphone, this is a great option. If you're wondering how you can exit this mode, you need to go into settings and from here there is an option to exit simple mode. In the next tip, let me show you how you can enable gesture based navigation on your Huawei Nova 5T. So for this you need to go into system and from here you need to go to system navigation. So the first option here is gestures, the second one is 3 key navigation and then we have the navigation dock. The 3 key navigation will come by default which will have the traditional android style layout from the back button on the left hand side home button in the middle and the multitasking button on the right hand side but you can go into settings and change the layout if you want and you can even optionally add another button over here to easily pull down the notification shade. But now since everyone is moving away into gestures, I personally think you should use gestures on your smartphone. So you can go ahead and enable it from the first option here, there's even a tutorial that pops up that you can follow through to quickly know how to do these gestures. So in order to go back you just need to swipe from either side whether it's left or right you just need to swipe out and you will go back and in order to go home you can just swipe up and release and it will just take you home and if you swipe up from the bottom and pause a little bit then the multitasking tray will open up and along with that from the bottom left or right if you just swipe up it will open up the google assistant as well. Pretty simple, pretty convenient. Huawei has also bundled in a one-handed mode and that can be easily enabled under smart assistance. 
So if you enable the one-handed mode, you can swipe up diagonally from either bottom side, whether it's the left or right, and the one-handed mode will quickly open up. So once you get used to this, if you want to use your phone one-handed, you can use this because the screen shrinks down. And if you want to exit this mode, it's pretty simple. You just need to tap on the outside area. Next, let's discuss about the display settings because there are a few options that Huawei has given here. First, we have the automatic brightness, which you can set so that the phone will automatically set the brightness. Next, we have the color and temperature mode where you can set the colors to be normal, vivid, or you can change the color according to what you want. Then you have the option to sleep the device. I have personally set it for two minutes, but the option is yours, what option you want to go with. Next, there is the eye comfort mode, which is very important. And I strongly recommend you to enable it and not only recommend, I personally recommend you to schedule it so it will automatically kick in at night. Next, there is a text and display settings. So from here, you can adjust the text size. If you want large text, you can adjust it from here. Or if you want small text, you can do that here as well. And you can change the display size from here as well. And next, we have the screen resolution where you have the option of enabling smart resolution, which will automatically lower the screen resolution. Or there is an option to manually change the resolution to HD plus or full HD plus. There are also more display settings available here under more display. Here you have the option to hide the notch that is the punch hole and you can enable full screen display for a lot of applications from here. And also you can display the carrier name or the network speed or you can disable them from here. Next let me show you how you can set the lock screen signature on your NOVA 5T. In order to do this you need to go into home screen and wallpaper and from here you can set the lock screen signature to anything you want. So here I have set at Android dollar, but the option is yours about what text you want to set. The Nova 5T and all the other latest Huawei devices also has Huawei share for you to easily share files between your Huawei devices. So you can enable it from here. And even if you have a non Huawei device like a MacBook Pro or any other Windows laptop or computer, you can do this using Huawei Share using the network sharing option. So you can enable Huawei Share from here. And once you enable Huawei Share, there's an option for computer sharing. And once you set your credentials, you will see your device under networking options. So you can easily connect to your smartphone wirelessly using this. It's pretty awesome and pretty easy to use. If by any chance you want to transfer something to any other Huawei device from the share menu, you will see Huawei share right on top. And if there's any compatible Huawei device nearby, you will see that there you just need to go ahead and tap it. And just like with the airdrop, it will get transferred very fast. In the next tip, let me show you how you can easily launch the camera without much hesitation, without unlocking your screen on your Huawei device. So if you want to quickly unlock the camera, all you have to do is go ahead and double press on the volume down button. And once you do that, the camera will quickly open up. This is a part of ultra snapshot that is available under the settings of the camera. So you can open up the settings in the camera section and you will find the ultra snapshot as the last option over here. And this will set the double press action for the volume down button when the screen is off. So you have three options. You can take a snapshot, you can open the camera or turn it off. I personally have set it to open the camera so I can frame it and take the picture the way I want. Next up, let me show you the screen transitions that are available on the Huawei Nova 5T. In order to see these settings, you need to pinch out from the home screen. And here you have an option for transitions. And there are various transitions that are available here from the default to perspective, squeeze, box, flip over, rotate, page. And there are various transitions that are available. So let me show you what each transition looks like. This is perspective. This is squeeze. This is box. This is flip over. This is rotate. This is page. And finally, this is windmill. So those are the transitions that are available by default, but there are also home screen settings over here where you can adjust the layout, you can lock the layout, you can auto align, you can enable or disable the high board, which is available on the left hand side when you swipe there. So all those settings are available and also you can set a widget, change the wallpaper and do all of that from here as well. 
Well, guys, those are ten awesome tips for you to make the maximum out of your new Huawei Nova 5T. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely go ahead and smash that like button. And if you can share this video, that would be really awesome. Definitely go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And if you want to see more Huawei tips, definitely check out my other videos. I have a bunch of them. I'll have some of them linked down below in the description as well. If you have any other tips to share with the community, drop a comment down below. If you want to see behind the scenes and updates of my channel, definitely follow me on social media. I am at Android Dollar. All the links are given down below in the description. And stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com for all the latest from the tech world. Until I see you guys in my next video, this is Ban. Sanya.